So today we will read Shishri Vila Pakusumanjali. Verse, verse number 47. O Bhavye, beautiful, auspicious girl. Mm. When will the queen of Fraja, as I bring her the sweet, hold her forehead on my forehead in loving joy as if she is my mother and inquire about your well-being knowing me to be yours <laughs> O oh, Bhavye, mm. beautiful, mm. auspicious girl. Grand, but I can't believe it. When will the Queen of Raja, as I bring her the See, hold her forehead on my forehead mm. in loving joy as if she is my mother and inquire about your well being, knowing me to be yours. Mm. Shirat. In, In a divine vision, Shiragunata perceived his devotional service. And now that the vision is gone, he prays. In this way, it goes on continuously. Shiradika sends Tulasi off to Nandishara with sweets for Krishna. When Tulasi arrives at Nandishara, she keeps the plate with eatables on a proper place and bows down to Mother Jashoda. Mother Jashoda embraces Tulasi, affectionately holds her forehead on Tulasi's forehead and asks her about Radhika's welfare. Shri Radhika is called Bhavya here, or auspicious girl. She who works for Krishna's welfare. Maya Shoda loves Radhika as much as her own mother Kirtida does. And Srila Raguna does as well. She loves Radhika as much as she loves even Krishna. How much Mother Jashoda loves Radharani. Srila Rupa Goswami has written, 
Vatsalchyukta Matrika. She is loved by Achyutta's mother. It was only seven or eight hours since Radhika was at Nandishvara to cook Mohana's breakfast. Yet, Mother Jashoda is already very anxious about her welfare. How much Yashoda loves the maidservant. Yeah. Knowing them to belong to Shirada. Mm -hmm. She loves them as if she is their own mother. Shiraguna does, who floats on the waves of prayer, directly perceived this pastime within his heart. Through their own example, the Acharyas have shown that one must be very eager to attain one's beloved Lord. The devotee should never think, whatever I do, I am satisfied with it. It is the nature of devotion that mm. one is never satiated with it. Uh -huh. In Brihad Bhagavat Amrita, Sri Sanatana Goswami describes how Narada Muni prayed for the following boon. O Sri Krishna Chandra, may by your mercy Nobody ever be satiated with their love and devotion for you. For you are a transcendental bliss personified. Krishna replied, O oh, teacher of all clever arts, what kind of boon do you seek from me? My devotion, my mercy, and my love are naturally inexhaustible. Naturally. My devotion, my mercy, and my love are naturally inexhaustible. You have wandered around everywhere, starting from Prayag, Tirtha, hearing about my devotees, and seeing them. They are all the objects of my mercy. They have all their desires fulfilled. And they can deliver the whole world. Although you see that there are different levels of them. You cannot see that any one of them is ever satiated with their devotion to me. Therefore, 
Please pray for another bone to me. The devotee should know that his bhajan is in a diseased state if he feels satiated in his sadhana. One can measure one's advancement and taste for bhajan in the way in which one is greedy, eager, and unsatisfied with spiritual flavors. <coughs> How eager Shirupa and Raghunatha were. Hearing it, even a stone heart will melt. Shirupa Goswami said, You are Sukhamaya and Sukhamai. You are always absorbed in blissful pastimes. I thought I would not show you how my heart is burning, but I cannot keep from telling you anymore. See how your Rupa's heart is burning. Utkali Kavalari. All the past time places are still here, right before my eyes. And even today, these pastimes are going on. But I don't get any response. Your pastimes are not floating upon my eyes. A devotee should wander around like mad in this way. Radhe Radhe. Gurudev. If you want to say something, no, no, you say. Yeah. Jai Shirati. So, this is a very important point that the devotee on one side has a strong eagerness, strong desire. But another, on the another side, he is never satisfied to taste devotional service. Never satisfied. This is the nature of devotee, his natural position. And also this is the nature of bhakti, of devotional service. And when devotee is tasting just a little drop of his beloved Ishtadev, and is tasting the drop of devotional service of this loving devotional service, uh, something very amazing is happening. On one side, he is happy, but he is never satisfied. He wants more. He wants more to be close with Radhika and to serve Radhika. Usually, we have 
conception that we have to be very, very peaceful in our spiritual life. And this is okay conception from one point of view. But if we ex expect peacefulness in Rasa, especially in Parakya Rasa, Madhurya Rasa, it will not happen. Because this desire for peace is actually desire for materi materialistic consciousness. Because there are so many disturbances all around. And everyone hankering for the peace. But real peace actually is madness. Real peace is a madness which can be experienced only through spiritual identity. And this is the reason why devotees are crying, rolling on the ground and praying for this kind of intoxication, this kind of madness. And we can see that this crying brings devo devotee to specific level. And this level is that Radhika remove the coverings and show herself. And she is showing the Lila to her beloved Dasi. And that's the reason why Ragunat and almost every commentary is starting with the same, same sentence. And this is that in divine vision, Ragunat perceives. But when this divine vision finished, he is not satisfied. No. He is eager more. To take. And then he's praying. So we have to make, to understand this difference. And I'm sorry, internet is broken. I don't know, maybe more. now. Rade, Rade. What? Okay, I will. So we can see that Raghunath on one side, he's perceiving what's going on. Okay. So in one side, he's perceiving perceiving by Radhika's causeless mercy and on another side he is crying, he is praying. When he is Swarup, he is perceiving. And when he is in Sadakavish, he is praying, he is crying to his beloved. And this is the sign of someone who is not, never, never satisfied. He didn't say, okay, I saw the Lila, 
I saw Radhika and now I am satisfied. I can continue with my life. No. He wants more, more and more to relish this. Why Baba is talking like this? And our Gurudev is trying to inspire and all sadhus because they want to infuse this mood in us, in aspirants for Radha Dasis. Without their infusion, it's almost impossible to feel such an eagerness and unsatisfaction. And I just want to say, maybe Guru, they want to say something. No, no, say That this is the sign, this kind of expression of words and emotions is the expression of most sublime humility. Transcendental greed brings real, natural humility, not ordinary humility, but natural humility. And in these words, in this commentary, Rupa is saying, I, I just I have to find someone. All the past time, places are still here, right before my eyes. And even today, these past times are going on. But I don't get any response. Your pastimes are not floating upon my eyes. These words are words of Manjari in his Sadakavish. And this is humility which is showing how much eagerness is in the heart of Rupa. Everything he is saying, everything is here. But I want to see you again, again, and again, and again, because this is the only way how I can survive. And this is the natural position of devotional service, of bhakti, prema, and kripa. Bhakti, kripa, and prema, they don't have any limitations. And devotees who are living in this kripa, in this prema, in this bhakti, they don't have also any limitations. Material world is full of limitations and material relationships are full of limitations. And there is also certain amount of madness also in material world. But devotees needs, they are hankering for transcendental madness and intoxication. So this is my understanding, my simple understanding and I try sim in simple way to ex to say something about this. Because every word here 
is meant and every sentence to meditate on that. And someone who can relish these sentences can never be satisfied. He wants more, 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 and more to listen, to meditate. Narada Muni, we all know who is he. It's written here. He prayed to Krishna. I want that nobody ever be saturated with their love and devotion for you. And it's very nice uh, answer which Krishna gives. Yes, Narada Muni, but you don't have to ask me for such a boon because my devotees are naturally in such kind of position because they are never satisfied with their love. And their love is a high to keep. And we can remember that only such kind of love can bring yayatma suprasiddha, satisfaction of the soul. Only a haituki can give us this suprasiddha, satisfaction, but not to this body. to our spiritual identity, which is one-pointed. Without one-pointedness, it's not possible to practice and to live a high to key. Causeless. Devotional service. And when this causeless devotional service, a haituki is going and going without interruption, without interruption, then brings satisfaction. Yayatma, atma, supraseded. I just remember now this. Although I forgot all these verses from Bhagavatam, I just remember this verse. Please go through the Save me. No, very nice. Or we can continue if Guru Dev does it. One thing I want to say. Samai? Rasa. What is Rasa? Means when you practice any rasa, like Mother Jasoda, you what love she is giving to Krishna, she gave to Radha. Even to the Manjari also. Means all the time she is living in the one rasa. That's the perfection of your. Rasa. Which rasa you try to practice, you have to fix to live all the time in that rasa. Like you are practicing to live in Dasi, Radha Dasi Rasa. Any place you stay, 
you have to behave like a Radha Dasi Rasi. Always meditate. In your Siddha Deha or Sadhana Deha. With everyone, you have to feel it that she is my son. She is like this. Everything, if you try to do in Sadhana Deha, is always there. One rasa we have to do, no change rasa. And we change the rasa. When we come to our sadhak there, then our rasa means in the false ego effect. Then my identification of body <coughs> and ego, they give different rasa to you, your identification. So if you are in sadhak deha, come to out of the service in your sadhak there, always if you want to go back in that service, you have to keep on your rasa and try for that. Then perfection slowly, slowly starts. And disturbance make our material things. In between they come, they try to shut us down. But when we keep it in our rasa not changing, then it is effect coming down and down. She gives the same love like Radha. She gives the same love like Krishna to Dasudamaya, to Manjari, hugging, feeling, and giving all of the parts of her. So that is the beauty to keep all the time. One flow of rasa is also teaching, mother is teaching. I am doing, you do also in your rasa. Like Radhika is embodiment of Madhurya Rasa. And Madhurya Shoda is embodiment of Vatsalya Rasa. Yeah. Oh. And if someone wants to learn to to feel this rasa of Vatsalya, yeah. he has to approach to person who is embodiment of that rasa. Right. Because one is a Madhurya rasa. Radhika has to give to Krishna. But the Mandiris are baby of Radhika. So she has to learn more from mother to give the Bhatsalya to the Manjaris. She has to manage at, at the same time Madhurya and Vatsalya, both of us. So, Acharyas are telling that in Madhuri Rasa, all Rasas are there. So why this is the highest Rasa?
and it's the source of all rasas and all rasas are merged in this madhurya wow. yes thank you Sri Rupa and Raghunath stayed under different trees every night just to experience the different spiritual pastimes that Radha and Mohana were performing at each place. When the devotee is in Raja, he should feel, even now, your pastimes are going on here. Yeah. This has to feel that is is now happening, not a past time. This is Nitya Lila. Nitya Lila means every moment is happening. I don't understand English first. What past time is? Something happened in the past. If you see that, it's not like that. Raghunath Prabhu, Prabhu always says playtime huh? instead of pastime. This is continuous. In Hindi, they say Nitya Lila. 24 7 is happening. If you have a grief, you can be there. It's not happened five thousand years back, and something happens. It's nothing like this. There is no history of it. It's happening now. Yeah. Even now, your pastimes are going on here. Why? I cannot see them. Please, let me see what pastimes are going on now. Let me be so fortunate. Why can't I see Vrindavana? as your real, actual playground. Shiragana has chosen Shiradika's dear most playground, Shiradakunda, uh -huh. uh -huh. as his place of worship. And by the mercy of Takunda, he directly perceived all her transcendental pastimes. Now, he is not Raguna, he is Tulasi Manjari. Mother Jashoda holds her forehead on my forehead and asks me about Shiradika's welfare, saying, How is my Radhika? 
will I not even experience one drop of this affection? The neophyte devotees should lament like this also. Maja Shoda loves the Kinkaris so much because she knows that they belong to Shirada. Radha Rani's affection is infused in her maid servant. And when Mother Jashoda sees them, she is as happy as when she sees Radha Rani herself. Blessed is Shiradika's servant. The devotee should eagerly wander from forest to forest of Raja, crying and crying. O oh, hey Vrindavana! O oh, Vrindavana's inhabitants, O oh, Vrindavana's sky, wind, trees, wines, deer, and birds, let everyone know that I am Radha's maid servant. You all be kind to me. Make this consciousness within me very firm. O oh, Radhe, where are you? This whole forest is illuminated by your <coughs> golden splendor. Keep me alive with just one drop of this luster. I don't have anyone else but you. Shinarutam Spartana, you are famous throughout three worlds. Hmm. for being so compassionate on the fallen and unfortunate souls. Hearing this from the mouths of the sadhus, I have jo joyfully taken shelter of you. Don't let me down. You are my shelter. Radhe, Radhe. Mm -hmm. I want to share something which inspired me. How devotee in his Sadaka wish eagerly is praying to hold Vrindavan to get this Kripa, to all inhabitants of Vrindavan. He is praying to sky, to wind, to trees, vines, grass, stones, moving, unmoving, living entities. <laughs> And this is real prey, real prayer. 
not for his material benefit, but to get mercy and kripa from Vraja, from Vraja Raja, dust of Raja, from Vrajavasis, inhabitants of Raja. And so we can see in many places our Acharyas are praying to the animals, to the trees, to the plants, everyone, everyone, birds, peacocks, parrots, please give me mercy. And this, because this is my only desire. And we can see here how Narutam is speaking and glorifying the Radhika and saying through all the three words, you are famous because of your compassion on the fallen and unfortunate souls. And now he said one very important thing. Hearing this, what this? That Radhika is so compassionate. Hearing this from the mouths of sadhus. Nowhere yeah. is not possible to hear such revelation, spiritual, transcendental, revelation but only through the mouth of sadhus yeah. i don't have a, i don't have any sukritis but because somehow it's happened in my life that i'm listening from the mouth of sadhus i just got a small glimpse who is radhika what is vrindavan and because of their words, I am taking shelter of you, Radha. They convinced me. And we can see that all words which Acharyas are written are actually made to convince the conditioned souls, to convince them that this place is not place which we have to put our trust, this material world, material body, material relationship. Mm -hmm. But only what can satisfy Very our nice. soul is to take shelter, to be under the chatra of uh, our sweet Swami. And here Narutama is saying, I heard this from the mouths of sadhus. I don't know anything. My intelligence is broken. My intelligence is poor. I'm fool. I'm stupid. I don't know anything. But I, I heard from the mouth and heart of the sadhus. And I believe them. And that is the mercy. This mercy of Radhika, he expand her umbrella. Please, Radha, don't please continue in my shelter. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Radha Rani expand her mercy. How she will expand through sadhu to us. So her umbrella expanded in the form of sadhus. And when we took the shelter and live in that shelter, we are in the Radha shelter. And they, they bring slowly and slowly 
as per my capacity to bear. Yeah. Yeah. This, this has to be Rasika's. He has to be connected there. If he's not connected, how they will connect me in the feelings? That's the point. Feelings is the highest thing to practice to be in our self. Feeling is self. When we start living in one feeling, that becomes my self. Feeling is self. No feeling, many feelings, not self is coming. But the feelings make so Guru there because the Swarup is made from the feelings. That transcendent feelings. Bhava yeah. See in material life, one father, he has a feeling for his grandson. So this feeling, if he changed his grandson's relation, it's not possible. His grandson now, all the time in his life, and what he play with that grandson, he will never forget that sorrow. If he grown up, he will see like that. So this is the sorrow cannot change. So it's a natural, you can understand. It's not that it's an unnatural thing that you, you need uh, Sloka and Sastra to explain and know. And it is easy to understand. It's a nature. It's a nature of the soul to understand. Jivere Sharup Hoy Krishna Nittadas. It's a nature. Jiva nature is this to understand the feelings and love. Yeah, nature is a nature. Bhakti is a natural. Natural. It's a nature. The nature yeah. of the soul to be a loving. And this is the reason why bhakti is independent completely from all Jnana, yoga, austerities is completely independent That's because the love. Yeah. They say na philosophy say you cannot lie, you cannot talk, but in bhakti you lie and and do everything for the uh, benefit in in your service. We don't bother. <laughs> Gurudev, if someone cannot lie, cannot be Rajavasti. Oh, <laughs> you lie, cheating, all you do in bhakti, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> cheating not for the himself, for the Krishna. Lying for Yes. <laughs> yes. All doing for Krishna. And it's all this huge. This is love. <laughs> Someone who is very heavy dharmic, he cannot find his place in Raja. <laughs> this is not his place. Like oral or steel. 
yes, really. Guru is teaching back borrowers too. You see? <laughs> Guru is teaching. You have to beg, try to beg it. You borrow, okay, borrow it. If not, they agree to do this, steal it. <laughs> you see? Kya Maharaj? किचन में जबीन बनवाइए खिड़की फिक्स कराई है तब तक ये सब तो तोड़वा लीजिए So, Gurudev, can we say that actually all this beg, borrow, and steal is happening in the name of love? Yes. With love, we are begging. With yes. love, we are stealing. When love increases, you yeah. become mad, then it happens. Then madness is happening. By hook and crook, <laughs> you want to achieve by your mercy. Dear Guru Dev, you still are hard. <laughs> <laughs> what to do, Naran Maharaj? Words I am repeating. <laughs> the one of the most rasika acharyas they are telling this there go on you see, Ras Madhuri, Ras Mai Madhur, Madhur and Ras are both there. But she is not in her. She likes <laughs> my the same time. <laughs> I, am I am adjusted for Vraja. <laughs> now, now I see. Her mother is going more faster <laughs> than her. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I see her in, her, he, she has the highest grade. I surprised. And she's so fit. One day I want to check her grade. One day I know pick the phone. Three times she called me. <laughs> Again, next day called me. When then I see a oh, intense grade she has for me to talk. <laughs> then I call. Then I see how, and she has nothing to say. Only the picture and <laughs> details about that. But the how and the Love she has so high with the purity, impulse, unexpected. Yeah. Great. All family of Mahatma, his husband, she is always painting, meditation, living in the village, peaceful life. 
her fa his father is also sadhu all the great family there are there are they are all blessed by prabhu path right they are all blessing of prabhu path so prabhu path so much much beautiful he made the give the seed one day it, <laughs> what do you say is fighting is sprouting and now is it sprouting there are you will see her her home guru will come to realize from her his painting asking and knowing and they will want to share her feelings before they are telling they will listen from her for this is other any mercy you give us so much love thank you for that you are telling i am very proud of you without understanding radha taking center of radha you cannot understand krishna you can know the god but nothing more than that and to to know the god is a five blind person want to know elephant is a story i'm a blind person and i want to know oh, touch the elephant and see the god is this to one catch the tell god is this one because the tell and keep god is this there we are doing that without doing radha you cannot understand krishna radha shelter will say show you the krishna with all the vedas and puranas and scriptures everything is crystal clear what words will come from your mouth is a scripture words go shera read more to read a little more is there i am living in rindavan the kingdom i do understand and listen you live in croatia but you feel that i am living in banda like your mama you live in croatia no problem but you see that i am living in bindav you come to bindavan and you think that i am living in i am thinking for croatia is not bindavan you come bindavan full heart and surrender to this land you see the american what you will do in one year one day <laughs> i am living in vrindavan mm -hmm. the kingdom of devotional enthusiasm 
kingdom kingdom is the, the place the king and queens are there that is the kingdom <coughs> what is my goal they live there that's kingdom i am living in vrindavan the kingdom of devotional enthusiasm but i am simply engrossed in bodily consciousness ah that the one <laughs> so this gross body such way in many 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 feelings one hour this feeling next hour this feeling <laughs> after one five minute this feeling my feeling come from my false ego with uh, my senses when i hear how unfortunate i am when i hear and chant the great words of the acharyas i will certainly attain that devotional eagerness then i will wander from forest to forest crying where are you oradharan mm -hmm. your golden luster illuminates the whole of vrindavan silad my mind and eyes subsist on a mere drop of this luster day and night there will be only this prayer in my heart hari hari when will that day be mine when i can touch their bodies see them and serve them yeah. I will blissfully render service with Lalita and Vishaka stringing garlands of different flowers I fill up a golden basket with camphor and betel leaves and place them on their lips <coughs> radha and mohana and vrindavana are the treasure of my heart and the means of my subsistence all glories to the savior of the fallen please give me this treasure i don't want anything else but that this is the pure experience of the acharyas i do not want anything else but that we should stay in the vraja fun in this mood not having a liking for anything else 
But unfortunately, so like me, likes many other things. Despite living in the Vrajatam, profit, adoration, distinction, money, and what not. Where will I find this treasure of a heart for whom I have given up everything? to come to Vraja, Radha and Mohan. There is no other hope than their mercy. Tulasi enjoys Mother Jashoda's affection. Mother Jashoda engages Shiradikpa in cooking for her Gopal because she knows that it will increase his lifespan, his health, and his beauty. This purpose is clearly visible in her eyes. how much possessiveness she feels for the eatables that were cooked by Radhika's own hands. Mother Jashoda is Gopala's Kalyana Karini. She This is what is Kalyana Karini. Kalyana Karni means who always think benefit good for Radha Krishna. Auspicious. Auspicious. Yeah. Uh, auspicious, yeah. Kalyana oh. Karni. Uh. She who arranges for Gopala's welfare. This is clearly visible in her eyes. <coughs> Tulasi understands her mood and thus calls Radhika Bhavye. Mm. She who works for Mohana's welfare. Mm. Tulasi's heart <coughs> is filled with Mother Jashoda's affection. Yeah. And Shiradika's great glories. Yeah. And this makes her very proud. Suddenly, the divine vision vanishes. <laughs> And anxiously, Raghunath Dasa falls on the bank of Radhakun and prays for devotional service. O oh Radhike, you are the very form of auspiciousness. Receiving your order, I will take different kinds of sweets and go to Nanda Rani, Queen Jashoda. Mother Jashoda will blissfully put everything away and then place her forehead to my forehead, full of affection. Mm -hmm as if she is my mother. Then she will inquire about your welfare, knowing me to be your girlfriend. This is the end. Mm -hmm.
the words. Radha, Radha. Dear devotees, if someone wants to share something, if he feels that these words and these commentaries touch his heart, he wants to share so that all of us can relish the rasa more and more. Please be free to do it. First of all, a heart praise to everybody. So nice to listen to all these beautiful realizations and I'm very thankful for this Sadhu Sangha, really. This is real Sadhu Sangha. And you see, our bodies are somewhere on this planet, but we are connected in the heart. And this is the main thing. It's a connection in the heart, and there is actually the taste. What we were talking today about the taste, and there are three categories of taste. There's a taste, there's the higher taste, and there's the highest taste. And what I feel that is that Raguna Das Goswami, he wants the highest taste. So in Sadak Deya, we can have maybe taste or higher taste. When we are connected to the spiritual realm, but the highest taste, we really only can experience in our Swarup. That is the highest taste. There is no higher taste. No, the highest taste means the, the ultimate. At the ultimate goal, and that's love, that unconditional love to live it, to have it in the heart, to give it to others, wow. to distribute it. It's contagious. It's really contagious. Like when all that realizations come, and actually we are not, we are not wanting to change the world. No, we want to change ourselves. And when we change ourselves, we might inspire others that they also want to change. But the first, the first projection should always be on ourselves. And there we have, there we have the taste, the higher taste. And when we really know ourselves and live ourselves. In the Swarup, then we have the highest taste. And in Vilap Kujumanchali, I feel Raghunath Daska Swami has no taste anymore. Only a, low, a taste for this word, nothing. But he has a higher taste in his Sadak Deya. But he, want, he doesn't want to have only the higher taste. He wants to have the highest taste. That's why he always wants to be in his Swarup. And this is an example he is giving for all the ones who want that higher taste also. By hook or by crook, back, borrow, or steal, doesn't matter. Just get it. And there's a lot of things going on in us when we want that. And anyway, everybody from you experience it this because we actually all all want the highest taste not be any for more satisfied with the higher taste we want the highest taste and then i remember something what Sula Prabhupada always said when we did the translation from spanish from english to spanish i was also in charge for this and he was always speaking about the higher taste but he said in one sentence he said Stay high forever, never come down. I remember that slok, that, that word from him. And that means the highest taste. Stay high forever, never come down. Actually, that is your swaru. When you're forever, forever, ever 11. When you forever trust in the color you have. I mean, you may ever look at 
the color of your body and you remember this actually that the main main thing just remember the color of your body the dress your seva your age your kuncha and that's it nothing more has to be has to be realized that's the highest realization so when you have a hundred it is included 90 is included 50 is included 20 is included but when you have 80 or when you have 70 100 is not included so that what sila proper said in, in page 4 in our swarup city that's 100 so everything else is included like when we chant the maha mantra everything else is included and that is the highest taste to chant and to be happy radhe radhe jai ho jai radhe radhe <laughs> sorry i wanted to share this first <laughs> see you soon i wanted to ask you something yeah, yeah. if i may no i want to know like you're saying that um feeling no uh goranga sundar was talking about uh bhava deya that the spiritual body is made out of feelings and we were listening very beautifully rasam i was reading about uh seeing is not enough also to touch rather to smell mm. and ragunath baba was talking about the highest taste so how can we develop our spiritual consciousness uh we can see we can meditate on the leela but how can we touch it or that how can we develop that <laughs> how can we grasp brother on his hand really like the mercy comes slowly and slowly when we can Really, slowly, slowly, she gave opening to us. She is very kind. She wants to give, but she tried to understand. All our circumstances of Astar, which is Astar plus what responsibility you have. She don't want to any disturbance in your family because your family is our family. Everything to do as per our circumstances, she did. Opening slowly, slowly. She give is a must. She give herself is a must. And how much percentage we surrender there is open more. But this man has direct service. This is sure that we want that to touch her, to serve her. You see, in sixteen, she say, "You come and touch, Manjari, come and touch. Your touch are important than my touch, more than my touch." We need. I need your touch. So she wants. It. She wants, but she cares also to every living thing. No. Mm -hmm.